Hey guys, what's up? Uh, this is Tim, also known as the Nematode, you know, it's kind of my channel. Um, today, uh, due to a poll on my Instagram, I posted the question, what tutorial for Sony Vegas you guys would like to see, whether it be either creating intros and outros successfully, or um, how to make green screens, use them, pretty much, you know, everything to do with green screens, even making green screens without owning a green screen. So, I got uh, something loaded into Vegas right now. You know, everybody's favorite thing literally ever. So, uh, green screens. You know, um, if you want to use a green screen that you already have, like, um, for example, I have one here. Where is it? I think it's in this one. What is it? Oh no, it's in this one. I have this green screen, for example, of a uh, guy puking that I made. So I'm going to drag this over. It's not a clip, but clips, green screen clips and green screen images work exactly the same. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put it on top of the layer that you want to you know, use it on. Then you're going to want to use video effects and you're going to want to go up to the one that says chroma keyer. Now chroma key is the tool that's responsible for removing a certain color, keying it out. Um, it doesn't really matter which one you use, whether it's green screen here or pure green screen. Uh, I think, in my own personal opinion, pure green screen probably works better for the most part because, you know, if, if it's just solid green, there's no extra light bouncing off or shadows or anything with the green screen, then pure probably works the best. So what I'm going to do now is, this is very important, so you click on the color, you use the ink drop tool, and you drop, you know, the specific spot in the video down here, um, you know, which uh, you want to key out so it's the exact color. Um, then what you're going to want to do is, you know, you see how right there it uh, took out the color on the actual clip. So what you'd want to do, you know, is to mess with the high and low thresholds to get the perfect, um, you know, image that you want to, you know, get. Uh, you can blur it if you want a little bit to, you know, smooth out those, like, edges and stuff. Um, I typically don't, but, you know, for the top here around the hair, this was just me, you know, being lazy when cutting out the green screen. So... That's, that's how it goes, so, you know, if you, um, if you want also, you know, use the event pan and crop to, uh, you know, resize it or whatever, or move it around within the given area on the track, or, you know, create a new layer if you need to, use track motion to, uh, you know, resize it, move it around freely, and, um, you can even rotate it too, if you get a, you know, if you get it at the right angle. So, um, you know, that's how you use a green screen, just a regular image. And I'm going to show you how to make a green screen without even owning a green screen. Um, I'm not going to do it of me. I'm going to do it of this uh, nostalgia critic clip that I have here. The clip is only. One, two, three, four. It's only 26 frames, so it will take time, but it's worth it if you want to, um, you know, get a good green screen made. So what I'm going to do is here, I'm going to chop him out doing the thing and saying small penis, so that way I can overlay that in other videos without having to go online and do it. I have it myself as my own file on my computer, and I can use it for any project. So what you're going to want to do is... You're going to want to get to the thing you're going to green screen. Um, you're going to want to right click and go into View Event FX. Okay. Or you could just, even easier, click right here on the pan and crop to get right to it. Um, and then you're going to see down here where it says Mask. You're going to want to check Mask. And then on the bottom, you notice that this part right here is freed up now. So what you do is you click on this, then you click over here to the anchor creation tool, and this is what you use to actually crop out the 
image that you want to crop out and you can hold down control and move around your image if you want. So I'm going to do this very, very gorilla style. So it's going to be really bad quality, but this is just for, you know, to show you how to do it. So normally you would go really, really intricately to cut it out to get a really good green screen. But because like I said, this is educational purposes, I'm just going to very, very piss poor do this. And also it is 27 frames. I think starting in a couple seconds, I'm actually going to speed up the footage. So I'm going to do this and then I'll let you know what to do from there. And see right here, when you move around with the control tool, it stops your line. So what you need to do is when you have that arrow looking thing, you click right on it. You click there again, start the anchor again. So I'm going to resume the speed up and we'll go from there. Okay. Now that I have finished this crop, you see how he's masked out now? So that way, all the background is gone. Everything inside of the mask is now its own separate thing. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click back here and go to the next frame. The next frame looks fine because of how crappy I cut him out. So I'm going to wait a couple keyframes until he um, moves out of frame. And then I'm going to right click, reset the mask, and do it again. And now I did it again. So then I'm going to click back here. I'm going to go a couple more frames until, you know, I feel like it's good. Um, what I recommend very, very highly, um, if you want to make a good quality mask, you want to make a good quality green screen that you can use on any video and not have to worry about it being bad quality, you're going to want to go frame by frame and do it very intricately on every single frame to make sure it is absolutely perfect with no background or no nonsense. Okay, because, you know, if you're trying to make a good quality video, you want it to be good quality, um, you know, you're just going to have to put in the effort. Uh, it takes a lot of time sometimes, but, you know, it's all worth it if you want to make something really good. So um, I'm just going to skip ahead to the part where I'm finished masking the whole thing, and I'm going to show you what it looks like, and I'm going to show you how to turn it into a green screen. Okay, so now that I've finished masking, I'm going to close out and watch the clip. Small penis. Small penis. Now, as you can see, that is very bad quality. That's to be expected when you put minimal effort in like this. But if you take the time to go frame by frame and cut it out how you want it to be, it will be just as good quality as any green screen you find on the Internet. So how to make this a green screen. Now, this is all masked out. So the background is transparent. It's basically a black screen at the moment. So what you're going to want to do is very easy. You go to Media Generators, Solid Color, and they already have pre-done green. And this is a very good green because it's a proper green screen. So um, let me just redo that for a moment because I just realized that this is on a edited layer. So... Take the green screen, plop it in there, and then what you're going to want to do is make sure that it is on a video track which is beneath your masked uh, video, so that way small penis, small penis, small penis, small penis. it's, you know, how a normal green screen would work. Then you, you know, chop it up so that way it's just this one little green screen clip. Small penis, small penis. And then all you got to do is how you would render a normal clip. Just do that. File, render as, render it in whatever format you want to do. Um, I'm just going to put it on my, uh, you know, just put it there. Wait for it to render, which shouldn't take that long if it's only a small green screen clip. And then uh, you just wait for it to finish. Click open and there you go. All 
right? So it's done. Let's open it up and take a look. My penis. So, um, I'm not going to save that because it sucks. I already have this done in my folder. Um, I may use it on an upcoming video. Not sure. Um, but, I mean, that's really about it. You know, that's how you make a green screen. That's how you, you know, you can do it with any photo. It's way easier to do it with a photo because you only have to mask one frame. Um, uh, I recommend doing it only with HD because, you know, you want it to be a good high quality video. Um, if you are doing video or photo, um, you know, all I got to say, do it frame by frame. Make sure it's as good quality as you can get it and you should be satisfied. So uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, I hope this helps out a lot. Um, and forward to more edits.